Chase, just what was working so well for you tonight? Uh, I felt like everything was working for me tonight. Uh, my, my fastball was playing really well up in the zone, and I was able to put my slider in for strikes. And it just seemed like, um, you know, they they were putting some good swings on it, and it, f it felt good. Um, but then it got to the point where I was just able to, you know, sneak that fastball up and um, and it felt really good tonight. You see anything from your fellow Chase last night that helped you tonight? Yeah. He, so me and him always talk after every outing, and um, he basically told me that they chase a little bit towards the outside of the plate with sliders, and I kind of took that and ran with it. So that's something that I did, felt like I did really well tonight. You were good in those first two innings, but that third inning, two errors. Yeah. First and second, no outs. Just how do you think you were able to get out of that, and, and what worked for you in that particular inning? Um, I mean, like I said, we're, we're taught to have this next task mentality, and so that's just kind of what I did. And I knew that uh, my stuff was pretty good that night, and I felt like I was going to be able to get out of it. One question for me. How did it feel to come in here to Swayze Field, kind of silence the home crowd, 12, 13,000? How did it feel? It felt good. I mean, you know, th they are rowdy. It's kind of fun to be in an environment like this other than in Knoxville. I mean, Obviously, Knoxville is a pretty rowdy environment, too, but it's it's good to have that experience coming into here. Did you guys hear anything in the pregame warm-ups from the Ole Miss uh, left field or right field lounges? I didn't hear anything. Um, I don't know if the other guys did or not, but <laughs> I'm more locked in on what I'm trying to do, so I, I kind of blur everything out. A lot last, of, go ahead. Last question I have for you. Talk about the locker room right now. Obviously, you guys are on a winning streak, and you guys look really good doing it. Talk about the locker room and the mood in the locker room right now. It's Our mood is really good, but, I mean, like, like Coach has said, we, we need to be focused on the next game. And so we just kind of take that and run with it. Um, yeah. A lot of talk about the series coming in this weekend. They have the, the higher ranking and, right. and whatnot. You feel like you all made a statement by putting out two non-competitive baseball games? I mean, I feel like we did. Um, you know, it was we come in and we're not ranked where we want to be, but we don't really pay attention to all that. We just kind of put our heads down and work like we're taught to do. So that's what we did. There were some comments from Ole Miss side of things going around last night. How much did that fuel y'all today? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't really get on Twitter the night before my start, so I don't really pay attention to all of that stuff. I know our group chat was kind of buzzing about it, but I didn't really pay attention much to it. So Fair to say that it was a point of conversation throughout the day. Yeah. Uh, maybe Drew Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd say so. What's, uh, what's the mindset going into tomorrow and, and Coach V's message after the game tonight to just not – hang your hat on just winning the series, but try to sweep the series. Exactly, yeah, just kind of keep doing what we're doing and uh, just like a, <laughs> keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, last thing I got for you, just how much do you feel like you've progressed or where have you progressed the most from your first start at Tennessee mm -hmm. to Houston to first SEC start and then against the number one team in the country? I feel like my mentality has changed a lot. You know, that's something that nobody really works on and that's something that I've taken the time and dedication to actually work on the past few weeks coming out of Houston there was I was kind of like shooken up, I guess you could say, just because it was one of those things where I didn't know why some of the stuff was happening, but I just kind of took it, ran with it, learned from it, and then moved on. And that's kind of what you have to do as a starting pitcher. How have you worked on it? Uh, I read some books about mentality and stuff like that, and then I talked to my parents, I talked to V, I talked to Coach A all about it, and they are just like, just have that next task mentality, and that's just something that I've been able to get. Thanks, Chase. Thank